Hi, welcome to this quick tutorial on free body diagrams. And we're going to cover the basics on free body versus interface load, contributions, view options, working from top to bottom, and managing multiple free body diagrams. If you're brand new to this, I would take a look at the online help. It's very well done. Okay, from here, Nastran doesn't automatically uh, default to requesting free body diagram stuff. So if you want your force balance for your elements, which are necessary for interface loads, you want to have check this. If you're doing, if you have RBEs in your model, you need to calculate the MPC's equation force. In this case, we don't have that. So, and the reason it's not default is that there is a numerical cost to it. Not a whole lot, but it, but it exists. So from there, we'll go to pulse processing. We'll create a free body diagram. And we're going to do the defaults. And these things, it, in the default, it leaves them all on, which is just fine. We're going to display components. And from here, we're going to pick free body element. Look what happens. So I like doing a simple model. You get your mind around what's going on. It's just showing the forces, the grid point forces. And it's summing on all the nodes. And you can imagine what's going to happen here. And now we see because they sum to zero here, like that. And if we keep moving out, you can see how it keeps moving. Now, if we do another one, we could get the we could get the reaction forces. We could say here, let's just call this reaction forces. And we'll use only contribution from there. So now. Let's just pick all, because we're only doing reaction. And this can be confusing, because you say, hey, what's happening here? What is going on with those? Well, if we go to display free bodies, we see here, this is our, our, our quick view, our visibility. We can turn off that first one like that. There. That is working from just a free body. Now, if we're going to do an interface load, which is what a lot of people really want to use this for, and Let's just say we're going to do it just from peripheral. And we don't want to see individual components. Let's say we want to display a resultant from our interface load like that. Then we go ahead and pick that. Now it's going to come up with some other requests. It's going to want to have free body nodes and free body elements. This will be our cut through the model. Now we need to we need a contribution. Because see, we don't see anything because it pulls the contributions from the elements like that. Now, the coloring, these are our node markers. And you see it's marking the nodes that are being there. Well, let's just go up to view. Let's only look at what we're interested in. See how those are? Those are called node markers. And if you want to, of course, you can imagine you can turn, that, turn them off. And this is one of the things I call node markers. It, it takes a while to get around. We're going to look at the total force vector. We're going to make it a bright blue like that. And getting around this interface, <laughs> I have all you just sort of you just check show node markers. Let's turn them off. See those are called the node markers. So what we've done we've done a free body, we've done an interface, we looked at different views. The the concept is is really just to build something simple and play with it and work it through. And then you're ready to do a more complex model like this, where it's a vibration analysis. It's actually an optical frame work. And there's a bolted joint in the middle. And you can use individual free body diagrams. And you can offset the vectors. And I'm showing it with, uh, the, with the thickness turned on. And it's just a very simple plate model, plate and beam. And so we had a horizontal seismic load applied to it. And they wanted to pull all apart. You get reaction forces at each individual bolted connection. That's why we really like free body diagrams and the basics. So, okay. I want to give a brief overview at Applied CAX that uh, we're dedicated to technical support of our clients. And if you're one of our clients, you've seen one of our pint glasses on this with our connections and we really like to say free refills that we're always around to help you out with additional stuff. And we do we have lots of tutorials on the web, APIs, seminars, white papers, and we're always looking for suggestions of what other stuff we can do to help you guys out.
Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.